Roy Smith. Welcome to my layout. I'm extending the peninsula on my layout. I'll show you what I've been doing in this brief video. Then we'll take a quick look around the layout and finally we'll test the new track work by running a train on it. Some of you have asked about the height of my layout, so before showing you the extension of the peninsula, let me tell you that the main level of my layout is 57 inches above the floor. This is chest height for me. I believe and scale layouts have to be high. And the top of the backdrop is 72 inches above floor level, which is just above my eye level. So, 57 inches and 72 inches. Let's begin by looking at the bench work that supports the extension of the peninsula. As you can see, I varnish my bench work. I do this for two reasons. First, it helps to protect the wood from insects that eat wood. Second, I varnish it because I don't plan to hide it behind skirting. Skirting blocks my access to the wiring and everything else under the layout. Since I won't be using skirting, the bench work has to look like nice furniture. Here's the extension with the sub road bed installed. You can't see the bench work underneath very well, so the sub road bed looks like it's floating in the air. The peninsula is now almost 18 inches longer than it was before, and 3 inches wider. By extending the peninsula, I have been able to install track with a wider radius in the curve. You can see the footprint of the old track which I removed. Extending the peninsula has also enabled me to modify the track plan for Evanston Yard to the right of the scenic divider. In the past, I only had space for two industries here. Now I have space for five industries plus a passenger station. The new track arrangement is a big improvement and operating in Evanston should now be a lot more interesting. I have to order several more turnouts to complete the track work. In addition, I have to extend the scenic divider and I have to redo the wiring. I'm adding a Y to the track plan here at the east end of Evanston Yard. The Y will go through the backdrop and lead to the Pocatello subdivision. Alright, let's take a quick tour of the rest of the layout. I'm severely constrained by the amount of space I have for my layout. It's located in a spare bedroom that measures only 10 feet by 12 feet. For now, the layout occupies a space measuring 7 feet by 12 feet. So I have a little space for future expansion. And I may add an upper level. The layout is loosely based on the Union Pacific Evanston subdivision, which runs through southwestern Wyoming and northeastern Utah. Okay, let's run a train to test the new track work. Here, an SD-40-2 heads up a local freight westbound.
As you can see, I still have a lot of work to do. I will post an update after I make more progress. In the meantime, thanks for watching.